Hello everyone, this is the exclusive PvP uh, video explanation for the Mac. If you are not a Mac member, please do not share, do not copy this video, or otherwise I will find you and I will kill you. Okay, uh, back to the topic. In that video I will explain you everything about sailing in the combat, or at least as much as I can in a very short time. First, the most common thing that everyone should know is manual sailing. I'm not going to explain it for uh, a long time, I'll just make a full circle because that you can find tons of videos on YouTube explaining manual sales, graphics, tutorials, everything. So, starting with that wind, I'm uh, going with that. Look at my compass, how I use my sails, the front and the rear. Manual sails are decreasing the speed drastically, but they increase the turn rate too. Of course I'm using also rudder, as you can see. Now I'm tur turning slowly the front mast. To, so it's in the same line as the wind is. And soon, very soon I can start uh, switching my rear mast like that to tack the wind. So that way I'm switching my rear mast, now I'm tacking the wind. The wind is pushing my ship to the left. So it really helps. Now, in that moment, I will have to start moving my rear mast uh, slowly to the right. But what most of the people do in that moment, they already switch the front mast to the left. Because that gives you some additional speed and uh, really helps in the combat. Uh, other things about uh, sailing in the combat. The, the worst thing people do is dropping sails. How to slow down. When you drop sails from the zero, the power of course, look how long it takes. Even with the upgrade, lightweight, uh, ropes and blocks. Even with that upgrade that is increasing the speed by 20%, the dropping is very slow. I'm not losing a lot of speed to be honest right now. I'm still going with nice speed and now to raise my sails again. And they're raising pretty fast, to be honest, on a small ship. On a bigger ship, the difference is huge, on Inkerman, on Victory. So, on the frigates, on the shallow ships, you, you can uh, see a huge difference, but on the big ships, the difference is drastic. So, instead, what you do, there are two ways, downwind, like right now. First, I depower, clicking T. I rotate my masts like that. So they are in the same line as the wind is blowing. So I, I'm avoiding the flow of the air. You can see the, the, the sails are almost not catching the wind, they are flat. And that way I'm using speed very fast without dropping, without raising. And if I need the uh, speed in next few seconds, I, I can slow down that way like less than one knot easily. But when I need speed very fast, I just click F, which enables auto skipper, power again, and I will gain a lot of speed right now very quickly, without waiting for my sails to rise. Race. Other things. Mm. What else I can say? Uh, the downwind, upwind. I mean upwind, slowing down. It's totally different and much better, of course, uh, based on the acceleration, uh, new mechanics in the game. Let me show you, I will be sailing, for example, uh, that angle, right? So, let's say I'm going almost full speed now, and it's even easier to slow down upwind. Uh, you do not put your sa uh, mass uh, sails in the same line as the wind. What you do is, depower, and you rotate them like that. A little bit even too much that would be better. Look, look, I, I'm almost stopped in the same place. And soon I will be going on the reverse speed. That's the other topic. Going on the reverse speed, reverse sailing, that's very important in this game. Uh, you can see, to go on the reverse speed first, you need to depower, that's the most important thing and rotate your mast so the wind will be blowing from 
front to the rear. You can understand this when you look at the compass. Now, very important things when you are sitting on the reverse. If you want to turn to the right, you have to use your rudder to the left. Uh, I mean, when I'm looking like that, I'm turning to the right. Can, you can see it right now. And the rear, the rear is uh, turning to the right also if I'm looking like that. And if I want to turn to the to the left, I'm using my rudder to the right. That's a very important thing. Uh, then another thing. Uh, when I will be attacking the wind, the rudder switch. Very important trick. I will power up. And uh, I'm currently in the mission right now to record this. Let's say I'm going like uh, two, two knots, let's start attacking the wind. And I will show you one very important trick about, trick about the rudder that most, the, the majority of players do not know in this game. Sometimes when you are attacking the wind, you don't have enough speed. You will go on, on the reverse speed, negative speed. Like right now, and I'm switching my rudder to the left when I'm going on the reverse speed. Some of you might ask why. And I can also depower to, to gain a little bit more speed. So some of the players would ask why. I explained this a few minutes ago on the reverse speed sailing. And in that moment, for example, I can go normally power up and my rudder to the right already. Switching, for example, with manual sails like that trying to catch the speed and wind. So this is one very important trick uh, on tucking the wind when you're for a second going on reverse speed. You have to switch your rudder to the other side because you're going the other way. Uh, and that helps you uh, tuck the wind much faster. Uh, besides that, other things, elevation of the shooting. Uh, very important things like from which side the wind is blowing. Uh, looking, for example, right now in that situation, the wind is blowing. Uh, maybe I will go in that angle, so it will be much better to show. The wind is blowing from my left side. The, the, it's pushing my ship to the right. You can see my ship is like healed like that. I don't have much elevation in that side, but on that side I have a lot of elevation, I can shoot much farther. That's very important in the battles. And if you want to avoid, uh, well, for, you, want, you don't want to shoot too high, or you don't want to shoot too low, or you want to avoid leaks because that side is exposed to the leaks right now, your bottom section of the ship. What you have to do is, first thing, power and same as slowing down rotate your masts like the wind is blowing now you have a chance to shoot much lower to avoid leaks just it's 10 times better than uh, missing uh, overshooting things like that okay mm. What else, what else uh, should I say in sailing tutorial? Uh, when you want to avoid sales damage, that's very important things like player versus player, not, not versus AI, because AI is almost never shooting sales. Uh, you're going, for example, side to side with a ship, or let's say the ship is in front of you, a little bit to the right in front, just the way I'm looking, and it's right there. The ship has loaded chains. So, very often they are shooting a warning shot with a space, a, sh a single shot, trying to aim if it's too high, too low, going the right direction, right? So, it's a warning shot for you. Or when you knew before that the guy is loading chains or he was already shooting chains, what you want to do first thing is deep power and rotate your masts towards the enemy. So, all of the chains will be passing through your ship 
Let me show this on the example like that. It will be much better to understand. Let's say the enemy is right here. When he's shooting chains, the chains are going like that through your sails. They are missing most of the sails. And of course the best uh, angles to shoot sails is like from that situation when all chains will be going through the, through the sails or from the behind in that situation. <coughs> I hope it's clear and uh, that will avoid a lot of damage uh, to the sails. Uh, it's a very well known strategy used by uh, many players. I think that will be enough for today about the sailing tutorial. Uh, I hope everything was clear and thanks for watching.